Eternity is no joking matter, and a lot of people like to have this arrogant and edgy attitude when it comes to the things of God. They'll curse God, they'll blaspheme God, they'll spit in God's face essentially, until they're on their deathbed and it's their last breath. And in this case, a lot of people realize that their pride only led them towards eternity separated from their maker. And that's what we're going to cover in today's video. A man who seemingly figured out life and figured out how to oppose Christianity, starting a very successful movement that still has success to this day, realized that eternity was a lot more gruesome than he gave it credit for. In an attempt to defy the God of the Bible, he realized at the very last second, all he was doing was defying himself. And today's true story is a sobering reminder that God is not to be played with, and God is certainly not to be mocked. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Satanic Church founder Anton LaVey's terrifying last words on his deathbed will give you chills. Anton LaVey, author of the Satanic Bible and founder of the Satanic Church, was a very famous figure in occultism who pioneered Satanism to become a publicly accepted religion. Anton LaVey was admired by many Hollywood celebrities and even discipled them into the deeper things of Satan, including artists like Marilyn Manson who still incorporate many of Anton's teachings in their work today. Although Anton LaVey was raised in the Baptist Church and even played piano for the worship services, he started drifting to the dark side after leaving high school at the age of 16 to join the Clyde Beatty Circus where he performed as a cage boy at carnivals. He then claimed that he saw the same men at the lewd Saturday night shows in church on Sunday morning, which fueled his cynicism on religion and let the hypocrisy of his peers fuel a desire to oppose Christianity to the extreme. In the Satanic Bible, he expressed his opposition and immense hatred for Jesus Christ, where he even calls him the Prince of Evil. I know, that's crazy, but this is what he says. I dip my forefinger in the watery blood of your impotent mad redeemer and write over his thorn-torn brow the true prince of evil, the king of slaves. He first gained local popularity after playing the organ at bars and nightclubs in San Francisco. After gaining more mainstream popularity from notable figures, Anton LaVey used his newfound influence to present lectures on Friday nights pertaining to the occult and rituals, which ultimately led him to form a group called the Order of the Trapezoid, which evolved into the governing body of the Church of Satan. He became the face of Satanism and was even described by academic scholars as the most iconic figure in the satanic milieu and the founder of modern Satanism. However, his life came to a halt at age 67 when he took his last breath on the deathbed of St. Mary's Medical Center in San Francisco, California, where he seemingly had a vision of hell and uttered terrifying regretful words pertaining to his legacy. After astral projecting out of his body to possess his estranged Christian daughter, his silver cord was cut by a pastor who discipled his daughter, which ultimately led to his death. As he failed to project his soul back into his physical body, he started dying and was rushed to the hospital where he then uttered these words. What have I done? There's something very wrong here. This is all wrong. Those close to LaVey who had eventually left Satanism claimed that he had seen a vision of the eternal realm of hell and realized the true horrors of being separated from God only when it was too late to repent. Isaiah 48:22 says, There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Sadly, the devil has manipulated many into serving him, painting it as freedom from organized religion, when in reality he has put them in chains only to be dragged to an eternal realm separated from the love of God forever. Heaven and hell are real spiritual dimensions, and it is God's will that no one would go to hell, which is why Jesus died and resurrected to restore the broken bridge between sinful mankind and a perfect holy God. Your soul is valuable, and every second you are closer to eternity. So take advantage of the time that you have to follow Christ and seek the kingdom of heaven while you still have breath. As long as you are still alive, God's mercy is upon you. This stuff isn't a joke, guys. The afterlife is real. And the whole reason I created this channel was to bring people towards the kingdom of God. I want people to know Jesus Christ because everything else in this world is vanity. If I'm making content that doesn't point to the Messiah, the only one who can save your soul, then I'm not satisfied with what I did. But if I did do that, that does give me satisfaction because nothing in this world can be taken with me. None of my achievements, none of my success, followers, subscribers, likes, nothing. It all will perish one day. But the one thing that I can take with me is how I labored for the King of Kings and the legacy that was set before me to bring people to the eternal son. If you guys made it all the way till the end of the video and you've put your faith in Jesus Christ and are a citizen of the kingdom of God, I want you to comment down below, seek the kingdom first. If you guys want to sow into this ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description, or I have merch you can buy, which is also linked in the description, or you can become a channel member here on YouTube. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here, and if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take care and peace out.